Okay, so without using a calculator, let's see if you can figure out the answer to this simple inequality question. All right, so we're comparing two numbers here. We have 0 0.021 and the fraction 1 over 50. And what we want to do is uh, select an inequality symbol out of these right here for these two numbers. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our options. So A is less than, B is less than or equal to, C is greater than, and D is greater than or equal to. All right, so once again, try not to use a calculator, but uh, which one of these symbols is the best symbol for these two numbers? All right, so if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy to understand way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, we are making a comparison here. We have 0 0.021 and 1 over 50, and we want to put one of these symbols right here. Okay, so which one would work? Well, actually, the best answer here is C, and that is greater than. But if you answered with D, technically, that is correct as well. Greater than or equal to, this is a true statement. So if you answered with C or D, I'm going to give you full credit, but C is actually the best answer. All right, so if you got that right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I totally forgot all this stuff in school. Matter of fact, I don't even remember what less than or greater than is. Well, no big deal. Let's go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so we're talking about the uh, subject of inequality. So these are inequality symbols. So let's just review the names here real quick. So this one is less than. Now, if you look at it, it looks like an L, right? So that's how you can kind of remember it. So this is less than, this is less than or equal to. All right, so this is less than, this is uh, less than or equal to. This uh, symbol right here really means less than, or less than or equal to, excuse me. So this right here, less than or equal to, is the same thing as this symbol right here. Now, I'll give you examples here in a second. This uh, particular symbol is greater than, and this is greater than or equal to. All right, so how does this work? Well, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a few simple examples right now. Okay, so let's compare two numbers. How about seven and seven? All right, so what would be uh, something that could work right here? In terms of a comparison, what symbol could we use? Well, actually, we could just say equal. Seven is equal to seven, right? But here, if I have seven and seven, I could say seven is greater than or equal to, all right? So again, this symbol right here, means greater than or equal to. It's basically two symbols in one. All right, so that's how this works right there. But let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, simpler, easier examples. Okay, so let's take eight and nine. All right, so eight is less than nine, so we would use the less than symbol. Now, of course, the less than or equal to would work, but in this particular case, this is clearly, eight is clearly less than nine, so this is the best inequality. So you don't really need to use the less than or equal to unless you have a situation where you uh, want to put in that equal condition. And that does come up in mathematics, but 8 is less than 9. Now, something else about inequalities that I think makes it nice and easy to remember is that the inequality symbol, okay, kind of think of it as like an alligator, if you will. And um, I'm going to try to sketch one out here the best I can. So the alligator is always going to eat the larger number, all right? So that's a good way to kind of remember it. So whatever the larger number is, that's where the alligator is going to be opening its mouth, if you will. So if we have 12 and 7, okay, we want to put the alligator this way or the inequality symbol like so. So again, uh, it, your, uh, the uh, inequality is always going to want to devour the larger number. Okay, so I'm kind of stumbling and bumbling here, but hopefully everybody understands basic inequalities. Okay, so we have less than, less than or equal to, greater than and greater than or equal to. All right, so really the challenge here is to figure out which one of these numbers is the lower number in terms of its value. All right, so we're going to work on that in one second, but there's one other um, 
symbol here, I want to make sure that we uh, understand. So if I have 7 and 8, right, there's another symbol in math that you can use. So you can use 7 is not equal to 8. All right, so you definitely have options when you are comparing two numbers in terms of whatever symbol you want to use. But in this particular case, we need to determine which one of these numbers is larger or uh, lower than the other number. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into that right now. And in order to do that, we're going to have to use some basic math skills. All right, so 0 0.021. So what I'm going to do is use um, my knowledge of place value, and hopefully you have it as well, to write this decimal as a fraction because I already have a fraction over here, 1 over 50. Now, I could turn this into a decimal, but I think it might be easier just to turn this decimal into a fraction. All right, so 0 0.021. Now the zero right here is in what place? This is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place, so this is the thousandths place, so this is 21 thousandths, all right? So hopefully everyone understands that, and if you don't, well, you may need to review place value. Okay, so now, instead of looking at a decimal and a fraction, we are going to compare 21 uh, over 1,000 to one over 50. Okay, but we can't really compare these two fractions because they have different denominators, but we can fix that up, and uh, this is not going to be that difficult. All right, so how can we get these two numbers to have the same denominators? Well, this is 1,000. Okay, now I could try to reduce this fraction down uh, to 50, but I have 21 as my numerator, so that's probably not going to work. What's going to be easier is to turn this 50 into a 1,000. Okay, so how do I turn a 50 into 1,000? Well, that is not that difficult. All we have to do is multiply it by 20. All right, so 20 times 50 is 1,000, but if we multiply the denominator by 20, we also have to multiply the numerator by 20 as well. So 20 times 1 is going to be 20. So this is going to be 20 over 1,000. Okay, so now we can compare these two fractions in a way where we can uh, understand which is um, the larger number. All right, so they have the same denominators now. So this is 1,000 and this is 1,000. So which is the larger number? Okay, now if you're confused here, uh, let me show you a simpler example. Okay, matter of fact, let's go down here. So 21 over 1,000 and 20 over 1,000. Which is the large number? So let's take a look at these fractions here. 3 over uh, 3 fourths, 3 over 4, and 1 fourth, okay, which is the larger number. Hopefully you're saying, hey, Mr. D2 math, man, 3 fourths. So indeed, that is correct, right? So if the denominators are the same, what we are doing is comparing the numerators, okay? So here, 3 fourths is greater than 1 fourth, so we want to use this symbol right there, right? So this is the greater than symbol. Now, again, you could put in greater than or equal to. That is correct as well. But, uh, you know, if you have to pick the best symbol, three-fourths is obviously greater than one-fourth. So if you're comparing, you know, just these two numbers, then go ahead and use that symbol. All right, so the correct answer is the greater than symbol. All right, so hopefully this video wasn't too difficult or this problem. And if that was the case, if you got something out of it, well, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I definitely need your help to continue to grow my channel. My goal is really to try to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. But I need your help to reach as many people as possible on YouTube. And the best way you can support this channel is to just to hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, if you need some review uh, with uh, inequalities or basic math, you may want to check out my math uh, foundations course or maybe my math skills rebuilder course or maybe one of my algebra course uh, courses. You can find links to all of those in the description of this video. All right, so again, uh, I always encourage people to try to figure these problems out without using a calculator. It's just a good basic math review. All right, so hopefully, again, you know, for those of you that, uh, you know, were a little bit rusty on inequalities, you know, you're like, oh, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, now I remember. Well, that is fantastic, but if you really want to learn math, uh, you need to try to retain it, and the only way you're going to do that is through practice. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.